Could we remember in this Mass the soul of Sister Jean Marie Odano? We also pray for the entire Odano family. They remember their mom, that the Lord may grace them this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who willed that your word should take, take flesh in an ever virgin womb, look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts. Who would dare rouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah or the mace from between his legs, while tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O oh God, with your judgment endow the king and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. 
Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. of our God most high, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel. A reading from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac Isaac, the father of Jacob, Jacob, the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron, the father of Ram, Ram, the father of Aminabad, Aminabad became the father of Nashon. Nashon, the father of Salmon. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse. Jesse, the father of David, the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam, the father of Abijah. Abijah, the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, the father of Joram. Joram, the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham, the father of Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh, the father of Amos. Amos, the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shittil. Shittil, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abud. Abud became the father of Elijakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor, Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Achim, Achim, the father of Eliud, Eliud, the father of Eleazar. 
Eleazar became the father of Mathan, Mathan the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of her who was born Jesus, who is called uh, the Christ. Thus the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Usually I cannot remember every year when I have to reflect and preach on this gospel. You know that uh, I remember because it always brings me back to my seminary days. I remember that when I wa was ordained a deacon, I was taking my preaching courses there, and uh, then we are supposed to preach to the entire seminary community as a deacon, which is a privilege in a way that they give us the they were given us the opportunity to do that, but a very challenging opportunity because it was just very demanding people there, and they never get to see the good in the preaching, always the challenges of the preaching, kind of the bad things. Classmates sometimes can be your enemies there. But uh, I remember that in my, when my time came, it was precisely the genealogy of Jesus that I had to preach on. And uh, all I could see was a bunch of uh, names, one after another. And I was kind of, uh, it, all I could see was darkness there. I didn't know what, what to do, how to begin my uh, preparation for that preaching. But then later on, as I reflected on, I, I realized that there was something deeper in there. And, and I was questioning why the church wants us to read all these names anyway. But there is more there than the eye can catch. The opening lines of the gospel according to St. Matthew are not just the introduction to a long list of unpronounceable names, at least to non-Middle Eastern people like me in this case. They are a theological statement about who Jesus is, is about his identity. And you know, if the identity of Jesus is important, it kind of prompts us also to reflect on our own identity as human beings, as whom we are culturally speaking, and also our own identity because of whom we are as followers of Jesus Christ. The Gospels of St. Matthew and St. Luke make it very clear that Jesus was descended from King David. And his descent from Abraham make it clear that Jesus was a true Jew. Those two points, of course, are important for the, these Gospels because uh, uh, the identity of Jesus is one that is connected to the kings and is one that is connected also to the Jewish culture and is one that is connected to God himself. That's why we see also that uh, he is connected by the Gospel of St. John even before the creation of the world. He was already, the word of God was in God before everything was created. 
Jesus existed forever. Those who have an interest in genealogy, and nowadays you see that, especially here in the United States, so many people are paying a lot of money to know where they come from and what kind of blood they have and who were their, uh, they are descended from. And those who have an interest in genealogy know how fascinating these families' histories can be. Sometimes such things can reveal important data for medical purposes, but usually is an interest in history or maybe even bragging in rights about the combination of people we come from. You know, at one point I thought I was 100% uh, native Central American Indian myself. Then I found out that I have just very little blood of Indian. I'm, most of my ancestors come from Spain. Uh, a very revealing situation for me. I even found out that I also have French uh, blood myself. Uh, but in Jesus' case, it is a matter of identity and credentials and the participation of many peoples and cultures in his being and in his mission. So with this reading, one can see the inclusivity and the acceptance of all nations that is portrayed in the mission of Jesus. And that's very important for, uh, for the church because we are the Catholic Church. We are Jesus' church. We represent and we are made of of all cultures in the world because we are an inclusive church. We are the presence of Jesus Christ in this world. In that sense, the love of Christ for all humankind is on display in this gospel reading. Whatever our place and background, whether it be good or bad, we know that we will have a place in God's kingdom. This reading brings us hope during Advent season and an understanding that our hope truly resides in Jesus Christ and our Lord and Savior because he embraced, he's the fruit of all the cultures that were important at the time and represented all of us. The genealogy that we stumble on today shows how God can work in every mysterious ways in the way that we live our lives and also reminding us of that whom we are is important because that tells us that we have roots and the roots of Jesus go back even before creation. So he is the, God, the presence of God among us and we should never doubt that, that he, wa he is the son of God and who can do the impossible for us because he came to redeem us and to save us from this world. So let us pause for a moment and let us think about our own, our own identity and let us ask the Lord that he can help us always appreciate whom we are, but also appreciate the differences that we have with one another because after all, our differences are blessings, unique blessings from our God so that we can sh have something different to share with one another. Please stand and let us pray. As we await the long, with longing the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us present our needs this day. We pray that Christ may visit his church 
and make it holy, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all who do not yet believe in Jesus Christ. Let us implore the giver of all spiritual gifts to assist them. We pray to the Lord. We pray that under the protection of Christ, our times may be peaceful. We pray to the Lord. That Christ may guide the minds of those who govern us to promote the common good according to his will, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the intention of this Mass, for the O'Donnell family as they celebrate the memory of their mom, Sister Jean Marie O'Donnell, that her testimony, her generosity, and her faithfulness may continue to give to bear fruits in all the new gen O'Donnell's generations, we pray to the Lord. And we pray that as witnesses of Christ's love for all people, we may abide in his truth. We pray to the Lord. Almighty ever-living God, who brings salvation to all people, and desire that no one should perish, hear the prayers of your people and grant that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and your church rejoice in tranquility and devotion through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer for the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer for the divine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, wash me away from my iniquities into your abundance. Let us pray now that our offering may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And praise the Lord in his name for the good of our church. Sanctify those gifts of, of the church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way of eternal to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty, 
and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hold. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed uh, holy, O Lord, uh, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered uh, willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins and do this in memory of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, uh, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, uh, your church spread uh, throughout the whole world uh, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord uh, Jesus Christ. For through him, uh, with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And let us now pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Power and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of our Lord be with you. Let us share a sign of God's peace. On your day, we told this back at the moon, This is our brother Jesus, the son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are welcome to this meal. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter the my house, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. justice, the King's Son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish And from the river to the ends of the earth, justice shall flourish in this time, and fullness of peace
Let us pray. Nourished by this divine gift, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your Holy Spirit, we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. May our loving God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And let us go in the very presence of our God. You have a great day today. some 